Hi everyone, this is Medina, a car artist and video game developer. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through my process of how we can approach texturing leather. We'll create two types of leather using a non-destructive approach, and then we'll combine those two to create a quick third variation. This tutorial is suitable for absolute beginners, and I'll do my best to show you how easy it is to use Substance Painter for character assets. In this chapter, we're going to look at how we can refine the roughness of our jacket. If you look at our reference, you will notice that there is some variation in the shininess of the surface. There are some lines that are less shiny, and you can also see some rounded matte patches here and there. Let's see how we can add some roughness variation in a non-destructive way. I'm going to create a fill layer, turn everything off except roughness, adjust your roughness slider to get a rough surface, something like that. Right-click the layer and add a mask. Right-click on the mask and add a fill. Now our mask has its own fill layer and we can go ahead and add a black and white texture to it. I'm going to bring in my shell and I'm going to look for a texture that has some directional lines. Something that could look similar to this pattern. This Grunge Map 002 could work. Simply drag and drop it to the grayscale slot. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we need to change the UV rotation. Remember, you can Alt-click on the mask to see how the mask looks like. I'm going to play with the parameters of the texture till I get the desirable look. The matte areas feel a bit too matte, so here I'm adjusting the global roughness of the layer. All right, let's rename the layer to something like rough lines. Next, let's add some of the rounded patches that we can see here. I'm going to duplicate my layer. And that's going to be our rough, soft blobs. Bringing a shelf, and we're going to replace this texture with a new one. Let's see. I'm going to try this one. And now I'm going to play with the parameters till I get something that looks close to my reference.
All right. Let's see how it looks with a better lighting. That's not too bad. The yellow lines might be a bit too strong. At this point, feel free to fine tune the layers till you're happy with the results. And in our next lesson, we're going to look at how we can add some secondary height and normal details to our jacket.